What's going on, every, uh, everybody? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and you guessed it. I am back at you again with another video. God loves you, and everything is going to work out in your favor. Continue to be patient and wait on the Lord. All right, we're going to break this down. Because there are some people out there that want you to be patient and wait on this Lord who ain't going to never do a damn thing for you. Has he yet? And y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that phony. I'm talking about that, that God that they want you to believe in that's outside of yourself. They want you to wait on somebody coming out of the sky instead of waiting on the eye waiting on the power of the eye the power of that third eye your mind's eye you've all got one and it's your Christ consciousness and that is who you're supposed to be waiting on and being patient on. Y'all thought I was going to uh, uh, make this long drawn out one. Well, no, I smacked you in the face, <laughs> hit you in the face with it in the beginning, in the forefront. When you're supposed to be being patient and waiting on the Lord, you're supposed to be being patient and waiting on your own self-actualization and realization about who you are in God and of who God is in you. You have to be patient and wait on that. Otherwise, you're not giving yourself a chance to have life and live it more abundantly. All right? The God that we experience is firsthand. There's no fairy tale here. We experience God firsthand. We know God is real because we experience him every single day. Our faith is too strong. We know God is forever present within us and we're not going to accept anything else. Anybody that has a lack of faith, anybody that's not up to, to date in their belief, and this isn't new age. You can call it new age if you want to. You can call it whatever you want. But when you look at the Bible and you break down what things mean, and don't take it for face value, because if, if you take it for face value, lean on the rock of faith. You'll think you need to go out and get you a rock. No, your faith has to be a rock. The rock of faith is your mind. Your mind has to be solid as a rock. The foundation of your thinking, your thoughts, have to be very strong and firm. You have to be firm in your belief about yourself. And that's why everything is going to work out for you in your favor, all right? And, and that's who you're being patient on. And doesn't that speed up the process? Doesn't that allow you to be blessed in real time? People be praying to somebody out in the sky. They don't know when the hell they're going to get blessed. Still waiting up there, big guy. He's not a great big man in the sky. God's not a great big man in the sky. God is the great big man in me. God is the great big man in you. They took him out of they, they took him out of us and put him in a book. They took him out of us and put him in a, the universe somewhere in space. They out there looking for him. Ain't found him yet. The evidence of him is there. Just like when you go out into nature. The evidence of God is there. The evidence of man is there. Same thing you won't go out when you look into space. It's going to be evidence of God and evidence of man, which even further proves evidence of God. All this great things to, to be seen and explored and ain't going to be nobody to see it or explore it, please. Shout out to everybody who has a true understanding of how God works and who is seeking understanding because you know that there's something off with the way that we've been taught. So if you want to be patient and wait on the Lord and actually have your prayer answered and have the, the, the process sped up a little bit, not to the point to where it's, uh, it, it's, it's a negative thing for you, but I'm talking about actually getting your prayers answered. That's what I'm talking about. 
I'm talking about actually getting your prayer answered. The minute that you accept God as a loving, generous God is the minute that you become ultra blessed. The minute that you step into your divinity, the minute that you are recognizing your divine sonship, you have a divine one ship sonship and it needs to be recognized. When you recognize your divine one ship sonship, you recognize who you are in God and Christ and recognize that both of them dwell in you. You are both simultaneously. You are, you are Christ. And you are God. Both of them dwell in you. Both of them live in you. God loves you and he wants you to know it. And he wants you to know that everything is going to be worked out for you. Everything is going to be okay for you. You can, you can pray a prayer and answer your own prayer. You can talk to God about your situation and then see it being worked out. You can tell God how you want things to go. There's a Bible verse that says, command you me. Some people are afraid to step into their Godhood. The way people are afraid to operate with how I'm teaching them about how God works would be the same way if a person had a child and didn't want to step up to the plate and be a parent. You have to step up to the plate and parent yourself. You have to step up to the plate and govern your mind. You have to step up to the plate and actualize, self-actualize and self-realize the good that you desire, the good that you want in your life, the things you want to have and experience. That's being patient and waiting on the Lord. Being patient and waiting on the Lord isn't just ha it isn't just sitting around not having an idea, just waiting on dumb luck. We don't operate with luck over here. We operate with law. Law, we operate with law. The word Lord is an ancient word for law. This is why you can't take the Bible for face value. You'll be confused. You'll be stuck. Other people will be able to control you because you don't actually know what it's talking about. That's why it's referred to as tricknology. You have to know what things are being said when they're being said to you. If I tell you I'm going to the store to buy something, but it means I'm, I'm going to go jump off a bridge. What I said isn't what I said, is it? No. In religion, there are things that are said to people who think they mean a certain thing, but it means totally something else. And that's the same way with the English dictionary. And that's how, that's the whole meaning behind words being spells. You got to educate yourself and at least figure out what you're saying to a certain extent. You have to, you have to know how to use your mind and how it applies to the laws of life. There are laws of life and there are laws of mind. And in order to move in life without um, the stress and strain, of dealing with its negatives and being overtaken by negatives you have to assume that God loves you automatically off the bat you have to assume God wants to bless you automatically off the bat there are people who go through life that think that when things don't happen to them there's some God in the sky cursing them but at the same time their thoughts are making that real they're making that a reality some bad happens, uh, they get into their, their mood and their mood. And I know because that's why I'm always working on myself because I don't like that side of myself and I'm working myself out of those modes and moods because I, once I found out that, wait a minute, I can curse, I, I could either curse myself or I bless myself. That's valuable information, viable information. You need that. That's how you know God loves us so, all right? Everything's gonna work out in your favor. That issue you had, already resolved. That problem you had, already worked out. That thing you were unsure of, it's gonna turn out all right. All you have to do is keep eliminating the anxiety. 
eliminate the negative thoughts. See, people don't want to be God in their life. They want something outside of themselves to be God. It don't work like that. That's like wanting something outside of yourself to control you and live your life for you. God does not work that way. He does not control our life and live it for us. What do y'all think the free will is about? All the things you want and desire and want to experience, that's him wanting to feel them, be them, and do them, and have them through you. All right? Everything's going to work out for you. Be patient and wait on the Lord. But you're not waiting on someone in the sky. You're waiting on yourself to accept the, the, the idea of you being blessed. Once you accept the idea, it's going to create a feeling in you. And that's how you're going to communicate to the universe that you deserve to be blessed by feeling like the one who is. You got people out here calling themselves chosen ones and don't actually have the total realization of what that is. To be chosen, you have to accept your divinity. You have to accept your 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 divine one ship sonship have to accept it otherwise you're cheating yourself people wondering why other people are able to do them so bad there's been certain things that we haven't accepted we haven't prepared mentally we're unaware of certain ways to think so when we go through life Telling ourselves all these bad things and putting ourselves down and being hard on ourselves and tearing ourselves down. Why do you think it's so easy for other people to come in and do the same? Security's already been breached. At that point, they're just picking up where you left off. If you weren't there, you wouldn't be aware. But it was some way, some how you became aware of that and accepted the idea about yourself. So now you live in that reality. But you have to change it. You have to change your mind to one that believes God loves you and wants to prosper you. He doesn't want you to struggle. He doesn't want you to stress. He doesn't want you to have to go through what you're going through. You're not cursed. Withdraw the permission from the curse. And, and the cold part is, there are people who will argue with me for this, and I got a lot of love for them. But there are some Hebrew Israelite brothers and sisters that will say, oh, well, the curses and this, that, and the other. That may be a true thing as a whole. But individually, it's time to shake the curse and break the curse. Revelation? What is a revelation? Something being revealed. We have the revelation right here, right now. Revelation, the revelation is going to take place is when you realize you're God. That's that's the whole revelations. You realizing your divinity. You realize you coming back. Christ is gonna come back. He's back already. In you, in me. He ain't never left. We don't serve a God that goes and comes. He's forever present within us. All right? Don't become rotten with religion. All right? Don't rule out your divine rule and power with religion. Religion separated man from God. That's what, that's what they did. Constantine and Constantinople and all them people in Rome. They had to figure out a way to, to, to get at the mind. They conquered people. They conquered a group of people physically and then said, you know what? If we get at the mind, this thing that we put here can be perpetuated. So what did they do? They sought the counsel of the evil ones. They gave them this trichnology and they put it all together to confuse the masses of people and to separate them from their divine one shit, sun shit, which would let you have life and live it more abundantly, which would let you know that you are God and there are none beside you. You answer your own prayers. 
Even when you pray, who do you think you're talking to? It's the power and presence of, of God within you that you're engaging with and connecting with, whether you like it or not. I want to thank you for watching this video. All right. We will be doing a sequel to this. We will be making a longer video about this. And I may even go live on this subject, but this this didn't have to be a long one. All right. But it was very informative and educational. And there was a lot put in this. Rewind it. Listen to it. Come back to this. It will be here. I'll be here. I'm not going anywhere. Thank you for subscribing, watching, liking, sharing, and supporting this content. My don uh, donation information is in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love, and light.